I've always had a fascination with crimson breasted shrikes. How does something in nature conjure up such striking colours and what for? Breeding displays, but both males and females have it to indicate health and superior genes. Well, <laughs> your superior genes make you way more visible to predators, buddy. But maybe that's just it. If you think about it, it must take a lot of skill and tenacity to stay alive when literally your entire body is one bright red dinner bell. Whatever the theories and whatever the ultimate reason may be, for us as birders and wildlife enthusiasts, it's just a thing of beauty. Pure beauty. I literally just arrived and started setting everything up and then three shrikes flew by chasing one another. Oh, I've got, I've got one coming in here now, coming in. Okay, he's right here by me now. At first, I thought I had it all figured out. Shrike spotted early and I'd be home in time for brunch. But nature isn't that simple. Getting them to sit out in the open, hard enough. Getting them to stay still, nearly impossible. I wasn't expecting things to be easy. But 30 minutes in, I also wasn't expecting it to be this tough. Boy, these birds move around a lot. They don't like sticking in one spot. It didn't take long to realize brunch wasn't happening. Hours passed, shrikes were nowhere to be found. Just me, the bush, and some sleeping rhinos. For the longest time it felt like I was getting everything but crimson breasted shrikes. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love seeing everything I find in the bush. Everything has its own story and its own thing that it's doing in the moment. But when you're out here on a mission, when you're out here looking for something specific, things can get pretty frustrating pretty quickly. Suddenly, out of nowhere, the shrikes reappear, closer than I've had them all day. This was it, the moment I've been waiting for. The perfect shot, right at my fingertips. <laughs> 